Hey, this is Crispy Motion, and I'll be reviewing this uh, new Batman cow I got a couple months ago. Uh, but yeah, this looks far better than the previous one I have. Like, big improvement. It actually looks exactly like the Robert Pattinson cow from the Batman movie. And, you know, I'm in love with this cow. This It's amazing. Like, look at this. Yeah, and with the paint on the previous one, I thought it was too shiny and it kind of looked trash. So I changed, I repainted the cape and the collar piece. And yeah, it looks better now. Oh, and I added something on the side of this leg. Because, yeah, he has some... I don't know what those are called, but yeah, something where he stores his gadgets probably. But I noticed that he has something like that on the side of his leg in the movie. So I just added it on. But yeah, uh, I paint the sides of it. I am honestly uh, think it's kind of bad, but I mean, it's good enough, I guess. Uh, but yeah, here's the back of it. But yeah, Nate Minifigs did a, a fantastic job on the cow. Uh, this is probably his best version of the cow. And if you guys are wondering how I made the uh, collar piece, I used the Black Panther headpiece. I had to use scissors to cut it and stuff. That's pretty much it with this review. I just wanted to show you guys uh, my new cow. I'm really happy with this cow. I wish Lego made a cow like this for the Batman sets. I'm just really happy that I finally got like an accurate cow to the movie. But I, I gotta be honest, I didn't like the previous one I had. The more I look at it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. And goodbye.